Hi, my name is Andy Gordon. I'm the Curator of Education Outreach here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas, and I have... Anna Linda Verde. And today, we're going to show you how to create Silly Putty. So if you're at home with your children with nothing to do, kind of stuck in a house, this is an easy, fun art activity that you can make. The first thing you have to do is you're going to take six cups of water. So make sure you get six cups of water. And what's the best temperature for the water? It's just room temperature. Room temperature, okay. Just regular room temperature. Doesn't have to be bottled water. <laughs> Tap water works just fine. <laughs> That's four cups. And here's our last and final cup. And here's the fun part about this art activity. The only thing you need is borax. And for every six cups of water, you need a tablespoon of borax. One tablespoon of borax. Okay, you're gonna pour the borax in. Let it settle. We're going to mix it a little bit, just to get it going. And, and this is really fun. At the same time, you, you and your kids are having fun. There's an education component to it. There's the measurement. So you're going to trick them into having Science educational fun. Right? Yeah, it's like, and then Science you have the science right? component to it. And now, the best kind of glue to use is Elmer's glue. We tried regular generic glue, but it didn't work too well. So if you have Elmer's glue, use it. But generic will work at just a little. It's not as best. Uh, best results are with Elmer's. OK. Anna, could you go ahead? You gotta spin it a little bit. Make sure you kind of spin it a little bit. Get the water kind of turning before you. Um... Will the borax be fully dissolved when they start? Or no, no, no it's gonna stay. But we're gonna go ahead. And... Yeah, keep going, keep going. We're gonna make a big one. Okay. You know, usually we don't do it as big. But if you're home with your kids, you know, when we do it, we were doing it for for you know four to five hundred kids. You, we're gonna be doing it for less. So we're gonna make a big thing of city putty. All right. Ooh, look at it. Yeah, that looks really good. Stop there. Now, here's the fun part, right? How do you get it out? <laughs> Go ahead, Anna. You got Reach it. in. Get your hands and, in there. Yes. Reach in. And you want to grab it all. Yeah, there you go. Kind of swirl it around because you want to try to keep it together. And you want to try to pick it all up at once. And it's fun. If it comes loose, you just pick it up and, and, and just kind of combine it. Now, this is a key thing is you have to keep tossing it backwards and forth because you need it to dry. You're going to want it to dry before it works the way you want it to. Uh, some people, <laughs> when we were doing it with kids, go, oh, slime. But no, it's silly putty. It's not, it's not slime. Very similar, though. And if you can see she's squeezing it, she's just really taking the water out of it, which is going to make it really good. The more you work with it, the longer you work with it, the better it's going to be. You squeeze it with your hand backwards and forth, and you can see, now you can start to see how it's starting to become silly putty. It's starting to get that, uh, that texture and that feel of silly putty that you get. If this happens where it starts to look like it's a little gooey, just stick it back in because you didn't get enough borax on it. So you just put it back in, just swerve it around. Make sure you get a lot of borax on it. The borax is kind of kind of holds it together and makes it stick together. So, and that happens sometimes, you know, even in the best mix, it's not gonna always come out perfect. But you know, as anything else, that's the part of science. You just go right back in and continue to squeeze. And as you can see now, it's starting to dry out. Uh, and you're starting to get the texture that we want. And it's really fun. Uh, you know, kids are gonna enjoy it because it's gonna get them something that they can squeeze, touch, and, and play with. Um, and then we're gonna show you uh, what you can do. All right. Okay, so, you know, what you can do, it, it's gonna come out completely white when it's, when it's finished, but you can change the color. You can use food color on the dye, and you could change the color to red, green, or orange, or or whatever. And one of the fun things we like to do, and we had an artist that, done it, uh, that uh, did the project with uh, the City Putty as well, is, well, as well as make what we call an image transfer. And that's what we use the City Putty to actually transfer from a newspaper or a magazine. Uh, newspapers are better because of the ink. You really need the ink to use the newspaper. You're just gonna kind of lay it down, kind of make a circle like Anna's doing, Anna's doing here. And you're just gonna kind of lay it down kind of press down lightly. Don't press down too hard. And you want to make sure it's dry because if it's wet, it's not going to pick up as well. So you got to really make sure that you dry the uh, city putty pretty good before you get to this part, this part of the project. And then just kind of pull it back, pull it back kind of slowly. And you're going to be able to get the image. Uh, you know, trial and error. Trial and error. 
uh, it's gonna come back and it's gonna come out different uh, things. You can actually, the, the cool thing about this is you can ball it up and start over. You can cut it, you can change the shape by cutting it. Or you can, you know, kids can do, there's so many things you can do with it. So you can just have a tremendous lot of fun. So if you're at home and you don't have anything to do and you're looking forward to making an art project with just kids while you're out, try this. Remember that the only thing that you'll probably have to purchase is the borax uh, or Amos glue, but it's just water, borax, borax and Amos glue. Remember, uh, six cups of water, uh, one tablespoon of borax is the mix. If, if the city putty isn't, working correctly just add a little bit more borax to your mix and and, and, and and most importantly you can reuse this again so this is good for more than one mix uh i think we were at return time and seals were here about three days ago and we did this art activity probably like friday and we i think we got maybe eight to ten uh kids out of one bowl one mix before we had to remix and, and start over so this is a good project to do when you're home